sort of leads into my last question, and then we'll take questions from the audience. Um, do you see visual storytelling changing in the near future, and how or why? I, th I think it's always changing, you know, as um, as the the tech evolves, you know, like the amount of cameras that have come out this year that are are just absolutely crazy yeah. cameras like this has been a big year for cameras, um, you know, Blackmagic released a 12K camera, Sony or uh, Canon put out the 8K um, R5, there's the pocket you know, 6K. So like we're suddenly in just a span of a, a few years, we're suddenly dealing in like huge file sizes with so much data that you can work with um, and the cost and the portability of those things. So, I mean, that's from a tech side of things, but with all this new tech comes new ways for, for creators to um, realize their, their, what they visualized in their head. Um, so I think this, the, the approach is always changing and as social media continues to change, there's different avenues to display that work. Um, I'm, I'm really interested to see as, as VR continues to evolve, I'm, I'm really curious to see where, where those two meet and, um, and eventually marry and, you know, create new forms of content. I think there's also the, it's been on the rise, but the extreme rise of like you said, accessibility with, with phones. It's unbelievable. Um, we've been doing some stuff with Huawei and the camera on that phone is, it doesn't even make sense. It's hard to fathom what you can do with this thing. Like I can zoom into your past and it looks great. It's, it, it's even from a technical standpoint, I'm genuinely like, I don't know how they did that. Um, you know, and then you look at like on the Apple side of things, the dynamic range is insane. You know, and, and for anyone who's not a creative, how much light and how much dark can you bring in? How much black and how much white? So if I were a photographer and I needed to shoot something that was, call it backlit, but I wanted the, the, the foreground to be exposed, I might need to put my camera on a tripod and then expose for the foreground, middle ground, and background and combine them. Whereas iPhone can do that literally in an instant and do it all digitally. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Every photographer starts sweating as soon as you start talking about it. That'll be like a lost art of um, the complexity of the technical side, maybe. Hopefully not. It's funny, though, because we have a ton of friends that started with their iPhones, got into the realm of professional doing amazing, massive budget projects, and are kind of going back to their phones where they'd started. So it's interesting for sure. Yeah. Yeah. At the, I think at the something I, I keep trying to remind myself is like sometimes you can get really into the gear and the you know the bigger and the better and the whatever. But I, I always try to remind myself of you know when I was 15 with a mini DV camcorder and telling stories and passionate about it and stuff. And I'm like, you know, what would you know what would Jimi Hendrix sound like playing on a hundred dollar guitar? I mean it would still sound pretty good. It might not be as fine tuned as like the, you know, $4,000 guitar, but it's, it's like, how, it, how does the person using the equipment and their, their dedication to the craft um, affects the, the output in the end, you know, and, and having that vision. And um, like uh, John was mentioning and continuing to engage that curiosity um, to tell different stories. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, like, the mediums are going to change. You know, we've already seen like TikTok blow up in the last year. You've seen that transition over to Instagram into the way that people are now like the way video is being created, right? So like the the mediums and the out the way that people are sharing is affecting the way people are creating, um, and that's going to change again. Like we're going to see another, you know, like maybe it's VR, maybe it's another augmented reality, maybe it's it's all these other features, right? Um, but the one, so we can't control that as creators, as businesses, we don't know exactly what, you know, next year is going to bring the year after. I think the big thing kind of to what Jay said is all you can do is, is a, be like tuned into it. So know what's happening, be, be aware of, of the changes and the, but make, be able to make decisions too. And this, again, back to the purpose and the intention is like, 
does that new medium like offer us an opportunity to connect with a different audience or a different market or share our story in a different way? Um, because to Jay's point about lots of creators are incredible creators with no social presence and they're getting booked all the time. Like, I don't think just cause the medium or the platform exists means you have to be on it. Like I've seen like, you know, many businesses that decide just because Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram exist that they need to be on all three. And I would disagree. I don't think like, you know, the, you know, a particular, you know, let's say you're a mechanic or something like, I don't, you know, um, there's, there's mediums that make sense for you. Right. But others that don't like, I'm, I'm probably not checking in with my mechanic on Facebook, to be really honest, but like, maybe you're a mechanic that has used it well. Like, I'm not saying don't use Facebook, but, but just be intentional with it. Like, and pick a medium and stick to it. Yeah. Like find what, what, find the spaces that serve you well. You know, I know for me, like I'm, I have a TikTok account. I'm not using it, (laughs) you know, like, um, I, I might play with reels, but like, I might not, right. Like it, like it, it has to serve me and the message I'm trying to create. And it's like, yes, it's an opportunity right now to maybe blow up your Instagram by like jumping on these trends or, you know, but ultimately you gotta, you know, whether you're a creator or a business, you gotta choose the medium, choose the thing. And then do the work, like, like earn your place, like, like put in the time and effort to actually have a good product, a good service. Like, because if you're just marketing like trash, it's still trash, right? Like, you you know, so it like, you still have to do the work that whatever you're selling, whatever you're creating, whatever store you're telling is still good. Like regardless of the delivery mechanism, because that clearly has changed and it's been changing fast. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering after this year of, isolation if the stories we see in 2021 are more about connecting or more immersive or something Mm -hmm. or if we're just going to people are comfortable in this new like solitary rut they're just gonna get weird (laughs) Weird 20 people got alone they got weird it's all happened like i discovered myself like no you discovered you're weird we all knew that And it's encouraged. TikTok is a weird place and it's totally fine there. Um, Okay, so we have...